There are some really great moments in Sea Cruise, but this is not exactly my favourite episode of Full House. Sea Cruise is the fifth episode of the first season, and I have to say the beginning is great, the ending is great. Everything in the middle I just really didn't care for, and I think the main reason is because the kids are not in it. And that's not to say I need the kids to be in it to enjoy it, because there are plenty of narratives and, and storylines where that's not the case, but I definitely feel like their absence really reflected in the level of humour. It starts off really wonderfully. We have Michelle walking, which is a really brilliant milestone because it means that Michelle has the ability to become a more prominent character and 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 be the source of more comedy. There's a well, there's something that she does at the beginning. I won't spoil it completely, but there's something that she does that makes the audience howl with laughter, and it's just absolutely adorable. And being a big Mary Kid and Ashley fan is just it fills me with so much delight. We also have. Um, DJ and Stephanie in it very briefly, but wearing some adorable outfits. They give a very brief but enjoyable performance, um, which I rather liked. And then after that, the, the three guys go on this fishing trip. And while they're there, they meet these various girls, one of whom is Jesse's ex. And we get to see Jesse having some emotional turmoil as he tries to work out what his feelings are for this woman and, and whether he actually wants to be around her. And I will say, I didn't find that interesting. But I do like how it was written. I think they made the right decisions with showing this side of Jesse and ultimately what happened with that part of the narrative. I might not have enjoyed it personally. I might not have found it that interesting. But I can appreciate that it was well crafted. We do have uh, quite a little bit of humour from Joey, particularly with the fishing rod. <laughs> yeah, that bit did. That was probably my favourite bit, what Joey does with the fishing rod um, between the beginning and the end. And then the ending, which I'll discuss in a moment with a spoiler warning, was really moving and beautiful and uh, it kind of made it all worthwhile. So yeah, brilliant, solid start, really loved it. Then the middle bit, it was well written, but I didn't enjoy it. And I hope that makes sense. I hope you know what I mean. Technically, everything flowed well, the structure was good, the pacing was good. And if that's the kind of mood or feel you're looking for, I think you might like it but I can appreciate it for what it is without actually enjoying it. It's not to my taste. It's not the kind of vibe I look for with Full House. So it's not my favourite episode, but it's not like I hate it. I don't find it offensive or I don't think it's badly done. I'm just not amused by it. So I guess a spoiler now, I'll discuss what happens at the end and why I particularly liked it. At the end, Danny reveals that he was bothered or troubled by the fact that one of the women they met offered to cook him dinner. And this is actually a really big deal because nobody's cooked him dinner since his wife died. And we get this first look at Danny starting to spend time around women, but maybe feeling guilty or just not quite ready to take that step yet. And Joey gives a really lovely speech, which he in theory ruins with a joke, but it did make it entertaining. And just kind of having that vulnerability, I think, was really powerful because I expect a lot of people feel like that in a similar situation and it, it really kind of bookended the episode with a really brilliant solid start and a really moving pivotal ending and I think that from this point I mean I know what happens from this point on but that really helps to set up what Danny's dating life might be like going forward and I won't see any more than that obviously I've seen it all so I know what happens and what that's kind of looking like but it it, it could be a turning point um, certainly by revealing these vulnerabilities and saying that he's scared to think about this. I think it's a really good discussion starter as well. So it's not, yeah, it's not my favourite episode. I didn't hate it. I was happy enough to watch it again for the purpose of this review, but I'm never, you know, I'm never going to choose to watch this episode. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's it's not really that great. <laughs> 